Item number SCP-7227, Object Class, Forleon. Secure containment procedures. Neither Alex Foley is to be informed that they are the other Alex Foley. If the other Alex Foley learns that they are the other Alex Foley, Alex Foley is to be convinced that they too are the other Alex Foley. Description. The other Alex Foley is identical to Alex Foley in all aspects. The other Alex Foley either works at the Department of Unreality or the Department of Other. The other Alex Foley, like Alex Foley, believes they are Alex Foley. Aside from Alex Foley and the other Alex Foley, there are no other Alex Foleys. Item 1. Alex Foley's Interactions with the Department of Other Item number SCP-3000-J Summary an extremely delicious cereal created by Kellogg's, known as Foundation Felix. Begin Log Foley enters the site cafeteria. SCP-3000-J is sitting on the counter. Foley pours milk into a bowl. Foley pours SCP-3000-J into a bowl. Foley sits down with both bowls in front of them. Foley eats from the first bowl. Foley eats from the other bowl. Foley eats from the other bow. Foley eats from the other bow. 26 entries expunge for brevity. Foley eats from the other bow. Grand causes Eon of Calcium, the evil leader of the Sock Bites and encourager of unhealthy eating habits, enters the room and notices Foley eating Foundation Flicks. Foley notices Eon notices them. Foley pushes the other bow to Eon. Hungry? Eon steers at Foley. Foley steers at Eon. Eon sits down and begins to eat from the other bow. End log. Item number SCP-3000-J. Summary. See above. Begin log. Foley enters the cafeteria. SCP-3000-J is sitting on a table. Foley pours milk into a bow. Foley pours SCP-3000-J into a bow. Foley sits down with a bow in front of them. Foley eats from the bowl. Glenn causes Eon of Calcium enters the room and notices Foley eating foundation flicks. Foley notices Eon notices them. It's rude to steer, you know. You're eating another bowl. Foley steers at Eon. Foley looks down at the bowl. Foley looks back at Eon. This is my first bowl. Where's the other? The other what? The other bowl. Foley eats from the bowl. I don't know what you're talking about. You had another bow. This is my first bow. This circle argument continued until Thorley had completed the bow of cereal. And Nog. Item number SCP-477-J Summary A simple rare golden necromancer card owned by a really cool kid, James. Begin Nog. Thorley is walking down a side corridor. James, who is walking down the same corridor, notices Thorley. James runs over to Thorley, waving his hands around. Thorley stops as the kid runs up to them. Hello, Mix. Sorry to bother you. Can I show you something? Sure. James withdraws SCP-477-J from the backpack. It is shiny and golden and super cool. Thorley looks at SCP-477-J. Is that an army of monsters card? It is, it is. Do you play? I did once, actually. Foley reaches into the bag and withdraws a hollow foil golden bliss blight. A golden bliss blight? Foley nods and extends the card towards James. Think you can take care of him for me? James looks at the card, then at Foley, then at the card. You, look, giving it to me? Foley sets the card in his hands and smiles. Only if you promise to protect him. I do, I do. And he's yours. James runs off, laughing excitedly with his golden necromancer in one hand and his new golden bliss blight in the other. Thorley watches him until he disappears around a corridor. End log. Item number SCP-477-J. Summary. See above. Begin log. Thorley is walking down a side corridor. James, who is walking down the same corridor, notices Thorley. James runs over to Thorley, waving his hands around. Thorley stops as the kid runs up to them. Mix Thorley, mix Thorley! Hey, kiddo, how can I help you? 
James reaches into his backpack and withdraws his golden weightless, which is now sleeved. He reaches us out with both of his hands, jumping about excitedly. I've been taking care of him just like you asked. See? He's nice and safe with me. Thorny smiles politely. It sure seems like it. Oh, I think you might have to be confused with someone else. James Brown seemed to be confused. Really? But they look just like you. Just like me? James nods, still frowning. Well, never mind that. Actually, while you're here, mind completing a super secret mission for me. A secret mission? One only you can complete. I need you to sneak into my office and fill my cat's food bowl without anyone catching you. Think you can manage that, Agent James? James suddenly straightened his posture and salutes Thorley, smiling widely. Agent James assures you he is up for the task, Mix. It will be done. James and Inky turns and runs off towards Thorley's office, crouching around the corner. Thorley cocks their head as James disappears around the corner. End log. Addendum 2. Researcher August Trenafon's interactions with both Alex Thorley and the other Alex Thorley. Begin log. August Trenafon is sitting at a table in Site 37's cafeteria. He can be seen typing away on a laptop with a light meal set to the side. After a few minutes, Alex Thorley can be seen approaching the table with a bagel in hand. Mind if I sit? Go ahead. Trendafon continues to work away on the laptop as Thorley suddenly eats the bagel. A few minutes pass before Thorley speaks again. You ever feel like you're going crazy? Sometimes. Why? Trendafon is met with silence. He looks up at his laptop and notices that he is alone once more. He shakes his head and resumes his work. After a few minutes, Alex Thorley can be seen approaching the table with a burger in hand. Mind if I sit? Go ahead. Trendafon continues to work away onto the laptop as Thorley suddenly eats the burger. Only half a minute passes before Trendafon suddenly speaks. Didn't you already ask to sit? What? No. I could have sworn. This again? Excuse me? What's with everyone acting like there are two of me? I can stand when all of you kept pretending I didn't exist. But this? It's getting on my nerves. Right, uh, my apologies. Trenafon resumes his work quietly while Thorley continues to eat the burger. A few minutes passed before Thorley speaks again. You ever feel like you're going crazy? <laughs> uh, more and more of so late. You? All the time. All the frickin' time. The pair stare at each other for a few moments. Finally, Trenafon sighs and returns to his work. Thorley takes a minute to finish the burger before standing to leave. It's not impossible, you know. Pardon? That there are two of you. Just something to consider. Alex Thorley stares at him for a few moments before leaving. End log. Addendum 3. Recording of Alex Thorley encountering the other Alex Thorley. Begin log. Alex Thorley begins walking down a hallway. Alex Thorley begins walking down a hallway. Alex Thorley walks past Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley passes turns and notices Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley runs up with Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley turns around a corner. Alex Thorley turns around a corner. Alex Thorley is nowhere to be seen. Alex Thorley continues down the corridor. Alex Thorley continues to cross sections of hallways. Alex Thorley looks down the left hallway. Alex Thorley looks down the right hallway. Alex Thorley looks down the left hallway and notices Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley continues down the left hallway, unaware of Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley runs down the hallway after Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley enters a room and closes the door. Alex Thorley opens the door. Alex Thorley is nowhere to be seen. Alex Thorley sighs, closes the door, and begins to walk away. Alex Thorley pauses, turns, and walks back to the door. Alex Thorley opens the door. Alex Thorley is face to face with Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley stares at Alex Thorley. Alex Thorley stares at Alex Thorley. You look familiar. I could say the same to you. Do I know you? I'm Alex Thorley. You? Alex Thorley. Oh, yeah. Alex Thorley awkwardly smiles. Alex Thorley begins to nervously rub the arm. Alex Thorley begins to tap the foot. Why is there two of me? Two of us, you mean. Two of 
Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, why? Onyx Thority shrugs. Does it really matter? I mean, doesn't it drive you mad? What? Constantly being confused for someone else? Everywhere I go, it's always, didn't I already talk to you with this? And didn't you already that? It's exhausting. But it isn't someone else. Onyx Thority steers at Onyx Thority. You're still you, even if you're me. What does that even mean? Onyx Thority pats Onyx Thority on the shoulder. Try not to think about it too hard. Onyx Thority walks past Onyx Thority. Wait! Alex Thorley turns around. Alex Thorley is nowhere to be seen. Alex Thorley sits down against the wall and sighs. If only it were that easy. And no.